Hi, Geminis. This is Genevieve with Belladonna Moonbeams. How are y'all doing? I'm doing really well. This is the end of Samhain, the end of the day of Samhain, because obviously Samhain comes around every year. There's a wheel of a year and it revolves. And right now, this is like the first day of the year. So it's kind of like New Year's Day. So anyway, it's a good day. And I hope that this year it's way better than last year has been. This last one has been really tough. But I think it will be better. I really do. Anyway, moving right along. The first card I get for y'all is the Eight of Wands. And this card is all about decisions because there's so many decisions. Decisions, decisions, decisions. But it's also about dreams and hopes and, well, we turned it upside down. So it was modified. It's not as strong as if it had been right side up, but it's all about making those choices and having your dreams, allowing them to take root. But it also, you get the two of pinnacles, which is all about balance. So it, we definitely have to have balance this week. You have to balance your home and your, your work your hearth and your heart. But I honestly think that part of it for you is you have to balance your emotions and your or your head and your heart, your emotions and your logic. I think that that's really what you need to do, especially in the decisions that you're having to make. The next card we get is the Four of Cups. Now this card is about someone who's a spool brat. He's a He's like, everything's boring. He he doesn't want anything. He's got these three cups down there. There's another cup being given to him. And he's like, yeah, don't want it. Now, I'm not saying y'all are bored or spoiled. I'm saying that y'all right now are acting a little spoiled. You're seeing things with that jaded eyes. Now, that doesn't mean we all don't do that at times. I've truly seen that in my own life. But it happens. So once you recognize that it's happening, stop it. Stop letting that run you because this decision is way too important to let this get in the way. Now, the next card I pulled from is the Crow Terra, which has fast become one of my favorite decks. And you get the Seven of, Cro of Crows or Seven of Swords. We're going to flip it over once again. And this card is all about someone isn't what they seem. And, I mean, it can be someone who's being dishonest with you. He's trying to run off with all the swords. It could even be you trying to run it with all the swords. I hope not. I really do. But there's something behind going on behind the scenes, and you need to be aware of that and be looking for it. I also pulled from the spell casting oracle deck because i also love this deck i've actually there's a couple of decks i've just really grown to love that i open here with y'all so that's really fun and this is a well-being card this card tells me that you need to be paying attention to your well-being as you're finding balance as you're finding grounding as you're spending time doing the things you need to do to make you a healthy you, you're going to find the answers that you need. And this side of you is not going to be in charge. And you're not going to let that person take advantage of you. Now, I also decided to read from my crystal ball. And I see clouds. And clouds are all about dreaming. And I think that that goes with this card too. So right now, it's okay to dream. Just don't get so lost in that dream that you lose sight of that balance. Sometimes we can live so much in our dream world that we forget to live in reality. That's what causes us to make really bad mistakes. So don't do that. I see a road and it was kind of a meandering road and that tells me that you're on the right road but it's going to have some 
turns that you're not expecting right now. And that goes back to those decisions. It's going to make those curves, but you're going to make those right decisions and you're going to keep going on the road. And I also see a harp. Harps are all about hope or worship, but I'm saying it's about hope in this case. So what I think that means for y'all, Gemini, is that I don't think this is about boredom or being spoiled. I think that you're beginning to get frustrated and give up hope. And But you have a right to find your dreams. Get your head in the clouds a little bit. Get your balance. You've been so caught up with the mundane, with the worldly, with the day-to-day -day grind that you're losing sight of why you're doing all of this. And you don't want to do that. Don't give up hope. Find that within you. Get in touch with your spirit guides, your archangels, or just schedule a reading with me, 405-512-9400. And don't forget, y'all, on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, we are going to do a special pendulum reading where I answer your questions. So send me a text, 405-512-9400. And Gemini's hanging there. Have a good one. Bye.